welcome back to Pwn TV, everyone. Here we are playing some League of Legends teamfight tactics, and I am rocking out my favorite squad thus far in the game. Basically, the squad that I always try to build, uh, that's what I put together for this game. And I was getting my ass kicked up until I hit 53 life, and that's when I got lucky on the lottery and I actually grabbed all the extra pieces of the puzzle that I needed to actually execute my team comp. So if you'll notice I have three of six assassins so I get the tier one assassin passive bonus uh, which you see on the left hand side of the screen. I have tier, I have the tier one knight bonus two of six. I have the tier one demon bonus two of six. I have the, the, the uh, Imperial bonus 2 of 4, and I have the Ninja bonus, alright? So I'm sacrificing the Demon bonus here to actually put together a little bit of a better a better squad, I would think. Uh, really hesitating on figuring out what Shin needed to build that Null Mage Mantle into, the Negatron Cloak or whatever it is, uh, because honestly, I'm expecting uh, Dra Dragon's Tooth to be a really good item th for this game. But, you know, um, you gotta you gotta go with what you get sometimes. So Knight's Vow gives me the ability to have a Shen and a Darius in play and get my Knight passive. So that seems good. So we'll do that. And uh, that's the first time I've ever played with Knight's Vow on any champion, and especially Shen, one of my favorite champions in this format. But it works. It works out quite well with Darius. Now Darius is an Imperial Knight. So he stacks his Knight passive with Shin, but he also stacks his Imperial passive with Katarina. And I got lucky getting the third Katarina this match. So I have the Tier 2 Katarina champion, and I have the Imperial passive as a result. I level up here, and I play the Poppy just to have an extra body in play. Poppy is a Knight, but since I have Knight's Vow on Shin, I don't even need Poppy. She's just extra meat for the front line, really. So basically the whole point of this match is going to be me decking out my assassins and pouncing on the enemy carry. That's how I'm going to be able to win this game. If I'm unable to pounce on the enemy carry for some reason, then I'm not going to be able to win the game. So you'll see in this, in this game as we play through it that there are certain layouts that you can do with your champions to get them to pounce on certain targets. Uh, we'll get more into that towards the end of the video. Really, really clever positioning is uh, is in it takes place in this match actually. So yep, this guy loses the game uh, just the same as the last guy did, and he didn't spend his gold. This guy actually did spend his gold, but the previous guy didn't spend his gold, and he died with 40 gold. I saw that he had the little jars on the side of the screen indicating that he had not spent his gold. So we'll get a tier two cannon. That's a staple, really. Especially considering Sh uh, Surge Cap also has a Tier 2 Cannon. If you see they're building Tier 2 Cannons or Tier 2 Lulus, you probably want to also get one of those. Just to have a decent mirror match against them. And you don't get blindsided by like their Lulu knockup or their Cannon AoE stun, whatever. Because you have your own, so you could just counter it right away, no problem. In this game, it seems to me like the best counters to a lot of champions are themselves. Mirror match is really all about placement, so if you can just get the same champions they have and place them better, you'll win every time, no matter what they do. But my pike is popping off, man. If you've watched my channel long enough, you know about all the pike shenanigans in this game. And this fucking PvE match right here, Raptors gave me so many items just now. I just got another completed Spear of the Shojin, and I have a second Spear of the Shojin sitting on my bench ready to be used. So I could put that on any assassin and like hard carry even harder than I already was. So I'm already on a winning streak. I've been at 53 life for god knows how long, and I'm about to systematically wreck every one of these other seven players in this match until I get first place. That is the goal. I have my team comp. I've got everyone. All the pieces of the puzzle are there, guys. Guys, all I have to do now is get tier threes. That's pretty much it. Get tier threes and deny the opponent certain champions like Aurelian, Soul, Draven, etc. If I could put those on my bench, like right now Swain's on my bench because I don't want to deal with Swain right now. Uh, and Aurelian Soul is on my bench. I don't want to deal with him either. So they'll just hang out on my bench so the opponent can't use them. Because ideally I would like to just win with this team comp and keep beating the same champions. So I don't want to have to face any hard carry ravens or hard carry souls or anything. The Nars are on my bench. I don't want to deal with any Nars yet. I 
Uh, I could grab Karthus, but I'm not scared of him since I have double spear on Pike. That's a hard counter to any Karthus, so I don't even care. I probably need that Draven, though. Bench all the uh, late game super carries, basically. Sell Swain because I'm not scared of him anymore. All right, not getting any luck. Oh, there's the Pike. I need to do. I need to get that Pike. So sell the other Shen I have. Get the Pike. Ideally, I would like to have a tier three Pike over a tier three Shen, considering he's my carry. Look at that. 463 crit. Slide through. Stun everyone. Do another 463 crit. I mean. Meanwhile, I'm still infinitely stacking Rage Blade. Yeah, I'm winning this game. Oh, that's cute. You have a Dragon's Tooth against my Katarina, even though my Pike is the hard carry. Alrighty, alrighty then. Looks like you're gonna lose the game too, buddy. They're all gonna lose. I'm gonna kill everyone. Alright, I got the Tier 2 Draven, but I'm not level 8, so I can't place it. I have to keep Lulu in play, even though she has no passive benefits for me. Her knockup works really well with my team comp, so I need to have her in play. Uh, Draven is a carry, but since I have three assassins, like, I don't know. If I put Draven here, I lose my knight bonus, so it might be too early to lose knight bonus. I might still need a knight for my Shen. That's going to keep my Shen alive a little bit longer, so he could get his ultimate off easier. Honestly, like with this team comp, I just need to level up and put Draven in play. Or Pike number two in play, either way. Oh man, Pike is just going to town on this team right here. See that Aurelian Soul in the back? That's what I'm worried about. That's a tier two Aurelian Soul. If he gets full build uh, with that Nar carry that has Dragon's Tooth, like ignores all of Katarina's damage, all of Evelyn's damage. I mean, all I have left is Pike at that point. I have to kill Nar with Pike? Like, that's going to be really hard. So we have to find a really good placement. That way we can always kill Nar with Pike. Since he has the Dragon's Tooth. Also, that team comp's disgusting because that gives him the double Dragon passive that he needs to have immunity to magic on his Aurelian Soul as well. So basically, it nerfs my Evelyn and my Katarina. But not my Assassin bonus crit damage uh, passive that I have. Which is really all I'm banking on. Should be super duper easy game. Alright, let's put AP on Cat. Because she's the only Assassin without an item. I need that level up. I need that level 8, boys. Level 8. Looks like I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. So this is another game where I'm not sitting on 50 gold. You can. You can play the game that way, but you can also play the game this way. Where you spend your gold wisely, very, very wisely, and don't stack gold. Uh, none of my opponents are stacking gold. So, like, what? what's the benefit of me not spending my gold if they're also not... They're just going to out-tempo me if, if, they're, if they're continually buying, and I'm not, like... That's not going to work. Look at those th those uh, Evelyns facing off, though. And then she's left fighting my Pike. Boom! You're dead! Get wrecked! Pike is too strong for you! Much too strong for you! Alright, let's sell some shit, because we need XP, and we need to do it fast. Because I need to beat this guy into the ground before he pops off and I just sold all of the pieces he probably needs to kill me with great so he can lottery those guys back up all the Nars all the Aurelian souls uh, it's disgusting I was hoping to get my tier 3 pike out of that but I didn't but I did get to place my Draven so that's good unfortunately this layouts pretty bad I think right away that I could kill him but I don't notice right away that his his soul is actually going to start sniping people. Yeah, and I don't have any dragon's teeth on my team. Yeah, he's just nuking everyone with soul. Yeah, so that's a terrible placement for this uh, 1v1. And I'm fighting for first place here. And that was my first loss in a long time. So I have to either... Two things. I have to hope that he loses to Drake, so it's easier for me to kill him. Uh, in the event of like a draw or something. Um, and also, I have to actually figure out a better placement. But for Drake, this is a pretty good placement. You need Shen directly in front of the Drake. You need your marksmen on either sides of the map. That way they don't take any conal area of effect damage from the Drake when he's fighting the Shen. And you have to pray that the Shen doesn't die to the Drake right away. 
He has to survive to get his ulti off. It's very tricky. Lulu's getting sniped. That was probably a pretty bad placement for Lulu. But Shin got the ulti off good. He's doing pretty well against Drake as well. Not bad. He's gonna get it. I know I'm gonna get it. I've seen Shin tank the Drake so many times before. Plus the pike stuns. Yeah, I'm not even worried. Easy Drake fight. Even though Lulu went down. Alright, well I don't have to worry about Soul now because he already has his tier 2 Soul. So at this point I really just need to finish Pike. Alright, now i got to figure a placement out. I have 14 seconds to play with and I have to find a placement that allows me to actually snipe his backline before he can pop off. So I'm thinking across the map from Aurelian Soul needs to be all of my assassins. So I'll kind of line them up in a diagonal. Throw a second pike out there at a different perpendicular diagonal to the other assassins. That way he snipes different targets. And we have cross-sectional stuns going on. Instead of just stuns in the same in the same path. Makes it a little bit easier for me to stun the entire squad that way. But unfortunately, Aurelian Soul still didn't get hopped on by my assassins. Uh, if I make that mistake again, I probably lose the game. So let's uh, sell Darius, I guess, because Night Passive's not any good anymore, I think. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get killed to a dragon unless I can kill Aurelian Soul. So we have to figure out how to actually get his Aurelian Soul to push forward. That means putting your tank in the back line. If you do it like this, guys, their army is forced to advance, which allows your assassins to actually dive deeper into the enemy army. And this is going to end up winning me the game for sure. Because Shin is going to basically taunt them into going towards my side of the map. Which opens up the back corner of the map for the assassins to leap into. And now Shin's just uh, going to waste everyone's time while Aurelian Soul gets nuked to my squad. Uh-oh. Looks like that was a clean win. Nice dragons, bro. <laughs> You're just now noticing it's GG, okay. Well, at least you know when you're beat. Yep, so that is the game. Basically, yeah, every game of Teamfight Tactics boils down to placement and matchups. And in this case, when you know that your team comp can slay an Aurelian Soul NAR comp, if you place them correctly, all you have to do at that point is two things. Hope that your enemy team doesn't place uh, uh, replace their, their guys uh, every match, which would be really annoying. And also, you have to hope that you can place your guys uh, in such a way where you can literally just snipe their carry right away before he has time to pop off and kill your entire team. So that's what I did, and that's how I won the game. It was hella easy. Boys, thank you for watching the video to the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.